You're listening to Experience Imagination, a themed entertainment design podcast presented by Falcons Creative Group. Every episode, we discuss a new topic with a panel of creative professionals. Hi, I'm Cecil McPurry, President and Chief Creative Officer of Falcons. Welcome to Experience Imagination. I'm your host, Audrey DeLong. Today's topic is about building a new entertainment resort brand and creating something that could be called resortainment. One reason we chose this subject is because we just made a big announcement about our partnership with Melia Hotels International. I'm going to bring in Cecil McPurry and Scott Demereau to speak to that very soon. A little background on Melia. Uh, Melia Hotels International was founded in 1956 in Mallorca, Spain. They currently operate more than 380 hotels in more than 40 countries and are one of the world's leading leisure hotel companies. Coming up a bit later, I'll speak with Sarah Rangi, who directs Melia's marketing and branding development efforts in the Americas. First, though, Cecil and Scott. Hello. Hey, Audrey. How you doing? Hey, Audrey. Good. Well, thanks for joining us to tell us all about this fantastic news. Who wants to start? <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> Um, so Falcons Resort by Melia will offer this unique resortainment hospitality experience that will seamlessly blend premium, all-inclusive resort amenities, obviously that Melia knows very well for decades, with extraordinary entertainment in a way that is casual, sophisticated fun for everyone. So this is one component of another brand that we're announcing, which is Falcons Beyond Destinations. Mm-hmm. So this will be one component that allows these resort guests access to vibrant and curated dining, shopping, and entertainment experiences called Falcon Central, which will be in between the hotel and the theme park. That's cool. Kathmandu theme park, which I think has been announced for a while. We broke ground almost a year ago. Scott, if you don't mind talking about your decade-long experience and, and relationship with Melia Hotels International. I sure say so. Well, first of all, I got to say, Audrey, it really is a, a special moment for me because I did um, start this vision with Melia more than 10 years ago. They are really unique in a sense that a lot of their properties are truly the premier resort destinations in the world. And when we launched this idea of adding entertainment as the true differentiator from all the other resorts in the area, Melia took an approach that's very different from a hotelier. Lots of hoteliers have tried to add entertainment to enhance their occupancy rate or their room rate, a booking advantage, if you will. But very early on in our conversations with Melia, we all collectively agreed that this concept was going to be entertainment with rooms as opposed to a hotel with entertainment. And the big difference there is we lead with entertainment at every step of the path. And so we always have the guest experience front and center of what we're trying to accomplish. And that's what's going to really make this unique and difference. And to see this truly now being launched in a five-star resort, uh, it's just, it's a bigger thing than I ever could have imagined. But huge kudos for Amelia for allowing the entertainment to take the leading role. And it really is going to be what creates just a guest experience that nobody else has to offer. This is an existing hotel that was built in late 2018, early 2019. And it's, I believe, rated one of the best hotels in the Caribbean. And for that to be rolled into this joint venture is amazing because it's one of their top properties. But in addition to that, we're doing a renovation on top of it that will add this entertainment flair throughout the whole experience. It'll have the flavor of the entertainment components kind of in the DNA of the actual experience through the hotels, as well as obviously the access to the park is part of the offering as well. So quite excited about, you know, talking about those details in the near future about what guests will experience in the actual resort itself that will be entertaining. What was fun visionary-wise over the last 10 years, Melia really bought into the concept of putting entertainment in these beach resorts to a quality level that has just never been done before. The the handful of time that people have tried to really go exceptionally strong on entertainment, they always made the mistake of falling into the trap of a gated admission, which literally meant you're asking the customers to take a day away from their beach holiday. What we did with Melia is create a concept called freedom to play that we are enhancing the beach holiday, not competing with it. And Melia had a broad enough mindset that they're big thinkers in a sense of 
clearly this property, this hotel, Falcons Resort is going to hugely benefit from the entertainment, but so are the other 40,000 hotel rooms in the area. And this is going to help drive tourism to the markets, which is going to create a healthier environment, even outside the hotels. And, you know, tourists like to go to strong, healthy locations. There's lots of great beaches in the world. So I think it's going to be really meaningful for, for the entire area. Yeah, the overall Falcons Beyond destination is quite unique. Being able to have the beautiful beaches that everyone's aware of, you know, and have booked in this location for decades. But to have this Falcon Central where there's a retail dining and entertainment experience that extends your day, you know, by having a beautiful dinner or engaging with location-based entertainment experiences like Curiosity Playground, Virtual Aquarium, Story Hub, Game Hub as an additional offering. And then you have this freedom to play Kathmandu theme park that's all within this Falcons Beyond Destination experience. Yeah, in two phases. Yes. You know, so the first phase is the resort and the park, and the second phase is Falcon Central. That's right. We talked that's about right. the LBEs. We're also going to be introducing it in Canary Islands in Tenerife and in Mexico, both Playa de Carmen and Puerto Vallarta. The incredible team at Melia and Sarah, uh, people are going to get to to meet her learning so much about that side of the business. And we're really excited about how we're, you know, trying to add value with all the experience we have. And the two together is just incredible. I kind of want to back up in the the history of Falcons a little bit because I think it ties into this topic. Yeah, for sure. You know, because the foundation of Falcons was built on creating one-of-a-kind themed guest experiences. So how can a resort actually be a themed entertainment destination? It's story you know, we've been helping expand IPs for decades. And it's really understanding the tenets of those uh, IPs, right? And and how to sculpt that into physical environments. Good example of lifestyle brands is, you know, Atlantis experience that we did in Sanya. They really wanted to reboot their IP to be more current in parallel to the architecture that they were embracing, which was more contemporary. So, you know, that hospitality aspect of where we were helping tell stories and elevating a whole new aesthetic look for that was relevant for us to help with Melia and Kathmandu and obviously now our own resort. Mm-hmm. Bana Hills is a perfect example. Oh, yes. You know, it's an incredible experience. I believe I'm correct. It's one of the number one destinations in Vietnam. Wow. And we created a medieval French village there where we have a five-star, four-star, and three-star hotel experience that didn't have a hotel operator when we first master planned this destination. And now it's thriving and very successful today, and we were able to do that with our experience having architecture background, having entertainment and theming all wrapped in one. And so all these attributes that we've been doing for others, we're now doing for ourselves. Yeah, and that was an original IP, right? If that's I'm not right. Mistaken for that's Bonnet. right. That's mm-hmm. right. I have a final question. What are some of the things you are most looking forward to as a co-owner and operator of this new brand? Well, let me take that one first, Cecil. Okay. Because for me, it's really simple. We are going to exceed guest expectation in so many ways. What What's so cool about the relationship with Melia is they think as we do about surprising the guests on the upside from an experiential standpoint. And just everybody is committed to never stop. And it's going to truly enlighten people as to uh, a different way to spend your holiday that uh, takes full advantage of the beach, but it provides so much more. And for us, the smiles on the faces, seeing mom and dad interacting with the kids and, and that bonding time that lasts long after the vacation ends, that's what makes it all worthwhile. We've been doing guest experience for a long time, you know, even in, in our history, watching guests come out of attractions. Mm-hmm. But now we can apply it to the resort itself. And already with Milia's operational expertise and hospitality is, is second to none, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I've experienced it myself by staying on property. It, it has blown me away. And now you apply that to all the whole holistic destinations. going to be incredible. Really excited about that. 
I know we always talk about passion in this industry, but I mean, I've been in a lot of meetings with the, the Melia team, and it really is not an overstatement to say how passionate they are. There's so many smiles, there's so much warmth. I mean, you really get a sense of their culture just being in a meeting with them. It's so aligned, you know. I mean, obviously, we are very passionate in our own ecosystem here, but to be able to have a partner like Melia and have the same kind of passion and kindness, it's just, it's powerful. Yeah, we truly are one team, and that's what's making it work so well. All right. Well, this was fantastic. Thank you so much for setting this up, guys. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Audrey. Yeah, thanks, Audrey. Enjoyed it. Appreciate it, guys. All right. So I'm here with Sarah Rangi, who is the Marketing and Brand Development America's Director for Melia Hotels International. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Hi, Audrey. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, before we get into Amelia's history, let's talk about your own history with this leading global hotelier. What are some of your earliest memories with them? I started with Melia 15 years ago um, in Palma de Mallorca, which is the headquarters of our Melia Hotels International. I started uh, after I had multiple interviews with today is our COO. I started as his project manager. And I work directly with Mr. Andre Gerondeau. And it has been definitely a fun and enjoyable story for the last 15 years. And I lived in Mallorca, then I lived in Miami, now I'm in Cancun. Um, so I've done a lot of things and so, so excited to be here today talking about everything we're going to be talking today. So that's kind of how everything started. Well, geez, I feel so bad for you living in all those horrible places. <laughs> I mean, Definitely, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So as I touched on in the intro, Melia Hotels International is more than 65 years old. So what do you think their secret is to longevity? So yes, Audrey, well, I think that the reason and, and the formula, right, for, for longevity for Melia starts with our founder, Mr. Gabriel Escarrer. It, started his story as a doorman and he learned everything that there was to learn to really become the amazing hotelier that he is. And I think that that passion that he had from taking a company from one hotel to a small chain hotels to then become what today is more than 380 hotels, but still being a family uh, you know, family business, right? And and that is the passion that I think that we always make a joke internally that when you enter Melia, that gets injected into your DNA and we all get that passion out of all of our DNAs. Everything started with Mrs. Escarrer and now we carry on that vision in everything we do. Yeah, you definitely stand out. I can tell you that. And, uh, you know, you also have a great reputation for sustainability practices. Do you want to speak to that? Sure. Melia has defined our own global corporate responsibility model, and we did that aligning it with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We just wanted to make sure that we were generating a shared value and benefits to all of the destinations where we had hotels. And it's that commitment that led our group to become the, the most sustainable hotel company for Spain and the third one in the world. And this is according to the last Standard & Poor's Global Corporate Sustainability Assessment. We really try to make a difference on everything. We hire local people. We try to maintain this model into our supply chain. We do bring that benefit back into the destination where we are. So it is definitely something that we're very proud and, and that we make sure that it's always present in everything we do. Yeah, definitely congratulations for that. I know a lot of hard work goes into that. Definitely. Thank you. I'm curious. There's the word hotel and then the word resort. What's the difference and why do we call our own a resort? A hotel is the hotel industry, right? So all of them are hotels. I guess the, the difference is that in the industry, and this is not just Melia, we call resorts those that are on leisure destinations, right? So that kind of makes a difference. So um, the reason why our brand new Falcon Resort by Melia that we're so excited to introduce to the market and we call it resort is because it's in a beautiful leisure resort destination when you want to make the split between which ones are more on urban locations versus the ones that are on leisure locations. That's where the difference it's more relevant to calling it resorts. So I don't know if that makes sense on that difference, Audrey. 
It does. I mean, let, let's talk about our partnership. Um, so we, we could switch gears and, and talk about that Falcons Resort by Melia All Suites Punta Cana. That is going to be a transformation of Melia's existing Paradisus Gran Cana and the reserve at Paradisus Palma Real um, in two different phases, right? Correct. So that property, if you will, all 622 rooms uh, is going to receive enhancements. So to the exterior, the common areas, the suites, amenities, and experiences. Can you talk to some of those? What is that going to look like? Everything's so exciting, right? This is like launching a new brand and being such a sophisticated, fun and casual brand. And we have worked with the the entire Falcons team, with the the entire vision that Falcons Beyond has as a company, together with the Melia team, starting with our chief architect officer and all of his team. And I think that what makes this brand amazing is that we had a brand vision. Like really, we had a session, we created what we thought was the best understanding what was out there? What were the customers wanting? I think that the fun part is that that brand vision process is not just on a nice PowerPoint. I think that we were able to bring it live on everything that we're going to be doing in this rebrand from Paradiso's Grand Cana into Falcon Resort by Malia. And I think it just makes things unexpected in the hospitality world. And I think that that's what will make this resort just different. Yeah, I mean, you, you touched on something I was going to ask you too about setting a new precedent, connecting that uh, entertainment experience. It really expands what that family or, or individual experience looks like. C- can you speak to that more specifically about Falcons Resorts by Amelia? Sure. I think that we, on that brand vision that I was telling you before, Audrey, um, there was one thing that we all agreed and one plus one equal three. What this means is we do have a very sophisticated, amazing resort with premium product, premium services. And we're going to add to that a first-in-class entertainment park with amazing experiences that Kathmandu is going to have. And that's going to be kind of our backyard. You know, it's like, who can say that in the backyard of your resort at just five minutes walk, totally connected, you can have these amazing entertainment opportunities. So the idea is that all of the customers can create their own path on what they want to do. I mean, some people may want to go to the park every day. Other people may want to just go once and just enjoy our resort and go to the beach. But then why not at the end of the afternoon, let's just go to the park. And and the whole idea, so that has created that that one plus one equals three we created together a new hotel category, a new travel category. Now it totally it connects with our concept. It's what we call resortainment because it's the perfect mix between a resort, right, and the entertainment. So I think that this is going to be fun and we're looking forward to that change by the end of this year. I like that. That's that's definitely a different point of view and uh, resortainment. What a great word, right? Some of the other words that are used in connection with Falcons Resorts by Amelia is casual, sophisticated, fun, which seems like a fine balancing act. What what does it mean? Well, that that is a, a fun balance, right? Uh, because there are words that you can sometimes use as completely opposite. And I think that what we're doing is trying to create that yin and yang, right? So we want to do sophistication and the casual because we have a resort and a park and all of this needs to be just fun. And fun, it's whatever each person wants to define as fun. You talked about unexpected experiences too. I want to ask you, do you consciously create different opportunities for the various age groups? Yes. Um, So like you said before, we're going to have two phases of our product and our rebranding, right? So the first phase that is the one that we're going to be fully launching by the end of this year is uh, the one that today is Paradisus Gran Cana. Um, and then we'll make sure to add on a phase two. Our target market is not just families. We're looking at families. We're looking at uh, friends. We're looking at, you know, even couples. And definitely we're making part of our target teenagers. We want to make sure that we dedicate a lot of the refurbishment that we're going to be doing on phase two 
to what today is called the reserve at Paradiso Palma Real. We want to make sure that that has a bigger focus for our teenager audience. We have all been teens, right, Audrey? And That's right. We did not like to be boxed as teenagers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We didn't know what that meant, right? So we just want to make sure that teenagers can feel that that's a place for them to also have that sophistication, casual play. We will we'll define certain experiences to be totally unexpected that will wow, will surprise, will, will awe our customers um, for them to reconnect and come back. And that's what we're trying to do. Excellent. So, you know, I want to circle back to something you mentioned, resortainment. We've kind of coined that term. So it speaks about escapism or a vacation with imagination. If you look at it with a different lens, how can story that's so often found in entertainment, how can that play a role in a resort stay? I think that we want to make sure that story, it is part of our DNA. And I think that that was very important when we were talking to the Falcons Beyond team, that that became part of the DNA and the the positioning statement of our new hotel brand. And we are trying to create stories, experiences that, you know, those memories in all of our guests, the idea is that every time that you come back, something, not everything, of course, but something on the experience will have changed. So just to give you a little, a little, little, little example. So there is this amazing pool that is in the middle of this circle all of the buildings are kind of doing a circle shape. And um, why not do something different at the pool? So we are going to do certain things at the pool that will completely change the story on how pools are seen in a resort experience. Let me put it that way, okay? And I'm going to leave that little secret for people to want to know more after we open at the end of this year. That That's a tantalizing teaser, I have to say. I know. I think it's going to be fun for people to want to know more about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, Sarah. Well, thank you so much for your time and explaining all of this. Audrey, it was so fun and I'm so excited. You cannot see me, but I have a big smile and so happy to have spent this few minutes with you and sharing with the rest of the world the excitement of this new brand, Falcon Resort by Malia. Yeah, starting in October, the public will be able to book a stay at Falcons Resort by Melia All Suites Punta Cana. Correct. We're almost ready to go live in our Melia.com. Excellent. Thanks again, Sarah. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Audrey. Bye-bye. That was so great to hear from Sarah Rangke. So I want to thank her again for being with us. Before we sign off, I want to make another announcement. Falcons is hiring. We are looking for support for our pipeline, media, design, legal, HR, and marketing teams. So if you want to be a part of our future success and help shape experiences like we talked about today, I encourage you to go to falconscreativegroup.com and click on careers. That wraps up another episode of Experience Imagination. Thank you all so much for listening and please join us again next time. Thank you for listening to Experience Imagination, a Falcons Creative Group production. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the podcast and share with your friends. To keep up with our latest news, visit us on the web at falconscreativegroup.com and follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future episodes, please email us at podcast at falconscreativegroup.com.